Hello, right, today I want to talk about our Benimar um, Tessero, what we do to make things on here a little bit more comfortable for us is we've got the standard silver screen that comes with the new Benimars. Um, unfortunately, there is gaps around the windows uh, where daylight comes through when the silver screen's on. Um, so we would like to have the cab blinds closed as well to make it extra dark. So we've got these cheap um, bag clips, I believe they are. Pull the strap through. Click and shut. And it keeps it nice and tensioned outside. So then we can keep the cab blinds closed, making it darker and keeps it slightly more insulated and keeps the cold out. Right, the next thing we do is the bed. Now, the standard problem with these uh, Benimars is the electric drop down bed. I've seen so many people say, when they put them back up, it blows the fuse, because you press the button. So what we do, we just push it as well, just help it slightly, slightly more up, very noisy. But what we do, we, we push it and it helps it push it up and we've never blown a fuse since. And also, normally the bed comes to this sort of height. Now all we've done, we've adjusted these plastic stoppers here. So it was up here, we just dropped it down that much more, gives you an extra two inches on headroom in the bed, but it makes a big world of difference. Right, the other th problem we've had is damp. Not so much damp coming through as yet, but we want to stop it before it actually arrives. Now, on all the leisure vehicles we've had, where the cushions meet the back of the wall, we've always had a, a standoff piece, let's say, creating an air gap. So whilst we was in Scotland, we noticed on the outside, you could see a damp patch on the outside of the motorhome. So we've brought this uh, dry bed or dry deck I think it's called. I'll uh, pop some pictures up of what it is. And it um, just creates a little bit of an air gap and we've had no problems since. Also along with the bottom bunk. So with the bottom bunk, we used to get this a lot with um, my daughter sleeping in here because it was going straight onto the wood we put this stuff down, we used to get a bit of damp and condensation just at the bottom of the bed but now it's absolutely dry so that's going to save that and save any mould it's a bit like the old houses with no um, cavity wall insulation and people put wardrobes against the walls and then wonder why they get black spot mould because it's drawing a damp straight through so I wanted to stop this before it actually started one of the other little things we've done is whilst we was driving, this is um, larder unit has only got the one button to lock it into place and sometimes it used to come open. Now what I was finding is it wasn't quite catching it tight enough, there's a bit of movement in it. So all we've done, we've put a spacer just there where it catches and since, and since we put that spacer on we've had absolutely no problems. Now this is a Benamar Tessero 413. Um, one of the annoying things is with the garage doors, because there's garage doors on both sides. Now in the UK where we are, our habitation door is on the passenger side. So we tend to use that garage door most for getting stuff out we've been storing under the bed, be it the Kadak or anything else. Now it didn't come with a door latch on. And I persisted and persisted with Marquest to get them to put a door latch on. Um, first of all, they said they was not going to do it. I persisted with Marquest, uh, but they said they was not going to fit a door latch because it doesn't come as standard. But as I pointed out to them, with the doors being open, it will hit the paintwork and it's going to damage it. And would they like to be responsible for that? So inevitably they agreed to fit the door catch and I'll just quickly show you the door catch. Alright, let's pop outside to the door catch. Just there and there. It just helps it 
not hit the motor room because when these the door latches are out they do swing back and hit the motor room right well i hope that's been some use to some people out there thank you for watching see you again